All right, with this uh, forecast video update on this Monday, March the 30th, this is the evening edition. I am Josh Brown. We well, hope that uh, everyone had a wonderful uh, weekend and a wonderful Monday. And yes, it was, again, another hot one here across Central Florida, not just today, but over the weekend. And the good news is, I know most of you are getting tired of this uh, summer heat here around our viewing area, which I understand that. But do, do not worry, though, because some cooler air will be coming as we head towards uh, the second half of the work week, which I'm going to talk more about that here in just a uh, uh, a little bit. But first off, let's take a look at the high temperatures that uh, Central Florida did reach earlier today. And yes, some did hit some records again today as well. <clears throat> so for example, as you can see here around Leesburg, it looks like you folks did hit a record up around, uh, well, I actually wouldn't say Leesburg, I'm going to say the villages, I'm sorry. But Leesburg did hit a record today the uh, as well. But the villages did too. As you can see, the record high temperature today was 93 and around the villages over in uh, Lake County. Uh, here in Orlando, at around 6 o'clock, we, we actually reached uh, 91 uh, for the afternoon high temperature today as well. Uh, once you go down towards Kissimmee, the high was in the upper 80s, so it was about 87 earlier today. Uh, Lakeland, you folks did hit 91 as well this afternoon. Uh, Ocala, same thing for you. You did hit low 90s, and the same thing uh, for you guys. Uh, actually, I think that's it. So I guess Orlando... Lakeland, the Villages, and Ocala were the only areas that saw temperatures in the lower 90s this afternoon. Others only hit 80s, special special arrival on the close, uh, oh, not close, coast, excuse me. Again, I'm talking too fast, so just bear with me. But yeah, right along the coast here as where temperatures did hit 80s today, basically from Daytona Beach into uh, Titusville, and that's because there have been some breezy conditions uh, off the uh, the Atlantic. So that's why it did stay a little cooler, but it will still warm out there earlier. So... So, yep, uh, it was another summer day, or at least a hot summer day in Central Florida, once, once again. But tomorrow is the last day we're going to see uh, the hotter temperatures here around the viewing area, because I have to say, you know, pretty much throughout March, it's been warmer than average, and we haven't seen a whole lot of rain. So we're about a few inches below normal here in Central Florida over the past uh, several weeks. I, again, it's been pretty much around throughout March. So, yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, current temperatures across central Florida at this uh, 8.30 hour. And it's still kind of warm out there, but cooling off just a little bit. But as you can see, Orlando is still very, very warm, actually, uh, in around the area and near the attractions. As you can see, temperatures are still hovering in the mid-80s currently. So we got 86 right now in around Orlando and, and probably surrounding areas over in uh, Orange County. we got 85 right now in Kissimmee. Uh, 78 is the current temperature in Titusville. We got 80 in Daytona Beach and 78 in Palm Coast. We got 80 right now for you folks in Ocala, the Villages, and we got 80, 85 right now in Lakeland. So, yep, it is kind of warm out there and a little humid as we're ending our final Monday of March around uh, Central Florida. So, yeah, there you have it. And since we got a little bit of rain coming in the forecast uh, for late tomorrow before the front moves in, let's take a look at, at, at the uh, timing here on Feature Cash and show you who's going to see a little quick shower as we head towards the overnight late tomorrow night. So just give me uh, just a second. And we're not going to see a whole lot of rain, by the way, so just keep that in mind. But some can use a little bit of it because, uh, like I said, it's been it's been really just a dry March here in the viewing area with warmer-than-average summer-like temperatures. And remember, guys, if you're just uh, coming on into the Facebook live stream on this uh, Monday evening, don't forget, don't forget to go ahead, as always, and uh, share this Facebook live feed to your other uh, followers, because you know, my motto, sharing is caring. So just keep that in mind, like I've been saying many times. Anyway, so here's feature cast. It does show there could be maybe a quick shower or two, basically just in the north of Orlando as we head towards uh, 10 o'clock tonight, but otherwise looking dry and warm, as always here around central Florida. And then as we head towards the overnight, as we head towards uh, uh, Tuesday mornings, so about around daybreak, we'll see Again, another dry start uh, with uh, temperatures, again, still kind of warm, which we're going to look at the temperatures here on Futurecast in just a little bit and show you how cooler it's going to get once once the front passes through. So be sure to stay tuned for that. But, yeah, we'll be dry in the morning, as always, like it has been over the past several mornings or pretty much throughout March, actually. And then as we head towards uh, <clears throat> uh, pretty much throughout the day tomorrow, uh, tomorrow afternoon we'll see maybe one or two sprinkles, maybe a brief shower, but otherwise looking more sunny and another hot day again is ahead. But tomorrow, again, is the last day, the last day that we'll see temperatures feeling more like early summer around uh, the Sunshine State. So just keep that in mind. So if you're expecting to be heading out, uh, hang out around the pool area, like around your like around your lanai, for example, in, at your house, 
Uh, it could be a good day to do that, uh, since you'll be feeling more like summer again tomorrow. So, so just keep that in mind. But if you got other activities going on uh, tomorrow, but away from people, because you have to be six feet away because of the coronavirus is still going on. So if you're planning on doing biking or going out, go out for a run, uh, just take it easy out there. But always make sure just uh, drink plenty of water to, to keep yourselves hydrated, since it'll be much hotter uh, as we head towards the final day of March. And again, that's tomorrow. All right, so heading into tomorrow evening, <clears throat> and again, I believe that's when we'll see a few showers uh, try to form here across central Florida, so there could be some spotty ones here, basically west of I-4, as we head, head towards uh, between 8 or 9, basically from Marion into parts of, uh, we'll say, northwestern Orange Lake and Sumter and Polk counties, but otherwise, again, it's not going to be a whole lot of rain we're talking about as we head towards uh, tomorrow night, so just keep that in mind. And then as we head towards about around 10, 11 o'clock or so, could see a few more isolated dust body showers, so it won't be until the overnight we'll see a little bit of a good chance, but again, the rain chances looks to be lower at about 20%, so just keep that in mind. But notice here on the future cast model, as you can see, up towards Gainesville, which doesn't belong to our television market, but as you can see up around that area, they could see maybe a few isolated uh, downpours. But again, they're just brief and quick. It'll be quick moving, so just keep that in mind. So that's 1 o'clock in the morning, but overnight late tomorrow night into early Wednesday. So, so just saying... And then it looks like once we head towards daybreak, it looks like any isolated showers that may be left over will push out of here and off towards the east, along with that uh, cold front. So it looks like we'll see, we may see a pretty good morning on Wednesday, because temperatures could be cooler to uh, start the day once the front has passed through and wants the isolated, quick-moving showers to move out of here. So if you're not going to do uh, do some running or, or maybe uh, go off for maybe a bike riding just to start off the morning on Wednesday or to, or to start off the first day of April or play some golf, um, should, should, could be, like I said, it'll be a good morning to do that because it's not going to be as warm like we've been like we've been seeing uh, lately. Uh, but one, like, like I said, once the front pass, passes us through uh, during the early morning hours, we'll see again temperatures cooling off. So just keep that in mind. And then it looks like throughout the rest of the week, at least the rest of the, your Wednesday rather, but also Thursday, uh, looking quiet, but cannot rely maybe a brief sprinkle here along the coast of Brevard or Volusia counties. So that's that. So how much rain? Well, it's not going to be a whole lot. But I'm going to show you that on the rain total uh, model on Futurecast here, just so you know, so you know what I'm talking about. And again, this will carry all the way through early Thursday morning as we approach late week and also start off April. So as you can see, that uh, we're expecting totals to be much lesser. So we're talking about basically areas in blue picking up. We could pick up between, we'll say about a about a trace to maybe a tenth of an inch of rain at least for everybody, not just around Orlando, but around Sanford, Daytona Beach, Palm Coast, Ocala. So just about a trace to a tenth of an inch of rain will be the totals as we head towards the next uh, um, day or two, but at night. So there you have it. But with uh, temperatures, let's take a look at feature cast here and show you what we're, we're, we're expecting for highs, at least how much hotter it's going to get tomorrow and how cool it's going to get once the front passes through as we head towards early Wednesday as we kick off the month of April. So just give me just a second here. Let me pinpoint the temperatures first off. And like I said, guys, if you just uh, come on into the Facebook uh, stream on this uh, Monday night, don't forget to go ahead, as always, and share this Facebook live feed because, remember, the motto is sharing is uh, caring. So just uh, keep that in mind. Like I've been saying many times here from the previous uh, my previous Facebook live videos, All right, <clears throat> so heading into uh, late tonight, we'll see temperatures cool off a little more, but still staying kind of bit warmer, though, only in the uh, 70s. But as we head towards the uh, overnight hours, we'll see temperatures continue to stay milder, with lows going down into the mid to upper 60s to about uh, low 70s. So it should be the last morning we'll see temperatures warmer around uh, the viewing area. So just keep that in mind. And then as we head towards tomorrow... We yet again warm things up quickly into the upper 80s, into the lower 90s. So like I said, if you got a pool in your backyard or around your lanai at your house, I think, be, I think, it, I think it could be a good day to uh, uh, maybe just lay around like near the pool area. Uh, so that will be much hotter again tomorrow. But if you're not doing that, if you're expecting to be maybe taking the dogs out for a walk later in the day or go out for a bike ride or just go out to, uh, uh, you know, just for a little run, Again, just take it easy out there, and remember to drink plenty of water, and try to stay cool and healthy if you can. So, uh, so just keep that in mind. So that's tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon, I'm talking about. 
And then heading into the evening, we'll see temperatures again staying milder, but cooling off a little bit into the mid to upper 70s once the sun goes down. And then we get these isolated showers going during the overnight late tomorrow night. And here comes the uh, cold front swinging from the north to the south, and that's why by the time we get towards daybreak, it's going to feel more like, uh, I guess, spring-like weather, I guess, as we start off the uh, first day of April. So this is 9 o'clock early Wednesday. We'll see temperatures start off the day once the front passes through uh, into the upper 50s into the lower 60s. So it should be a good morning, like I said, to uh, do maybe a little running or play a little bit of golf. So we can use a break from the heat. I know everybody does here in Central Florida because it's way too early to have summer-like temperatures for March. Doesn't happen that it doesn't happen a lot here in Florida, but sometimes it does. So at least we're going to relieve uh, of the heat as we're start, starting off April. So that's Wednesday morning. So lows will be in the 50s and 60s, and then as we head towards the rest of your uh, Wednesday, we'll see temperatures only warm up into the uh, mid to upper 70s. So looking nice and comfy after a pretty much. Th- a whole entire bunch of warmer than average temperatures feeling more like summer. So, yeah, we can use a break, like I've said before. So, for example, on Wednesday, on Wednesday we can see a high temperature reach about 74 here in Orlando. Same th- same thing for you folks uh, in Kissimmee. You can see a high on Wednesday at about 72 in Sanford, about 71 for the high Wednesday for both uh, Titusville, uh, Daytona Beach, and also right up towards Ocala and the Villages. But Notice right up here towards uh, Palm Coast, you may reach maybe a high temperature around 70 on Wednesday, too. But wouldn't be surprised if temperatures only get into the 60s, though. So that's something we'll we'll be watching. Uh, but mostly, I just think we'll be in the 70s. So it means temperatures are going to be feeling more like spring and going getting back to average as we head towards that day. And, of course, we're going to see sunshine, too. So that'll be a good thing. But the only concern with the uh, dry weather, because it's been so dry for a long time uh, since back earlier this month, We'll have to be the fire danger, so that's something we're going to have to watch uh, carefully, too, as we head towards the next uh, uh, several days. So that's that. So I hope, hope, so hope you guys will enjoy Wednesday's weather, because, again, it'll be just beautiful out there and not feeling more like summer. All right, so taking you to Wednesday evening, uh, looks like we'll see temperatures cool things off into the upper 50s and low 60s once the sun goes down. And then I think we'll see lows get down in, only in the 50s. So, again, it should be another good morning on Thursday to do maybe a little bit of uh, uh, just, uh, you know, exercise, exercise to start off the day. Because, again, it's not going to be really as warm like it has been over the past several weeks. So, there you, go. there you have it, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS here for the next uh, couple of weeks as we get as we get. Uh, you know, the month of April started. Just give me just a second here. And remember, and of course, I want to let you folks know the radar is still down over at the Weather Service in Melbourne. It's been down over the past uh, several days, but again, I'm hoping pretty soon they'll have to, we'll have the radar uh, back up. So, I don't, know what's, I don't know what's going on, but it's just down. All right, so let's get over to late week here, starting with uh, Thursday afternoon, which will be April 2nd. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll see another, we'll see another uh, dry and another refreshing day here in central Florida. So more sunshine is expected as we approach late week. And uh, if we take a look at the high temperatures down below, we'll be, again, looking more comfy with highs, not just uh, seeing 70s on Wednesday, but we'll see more of that on Thursday. So mid to upper 70s is expected. Maybe some spots could hit 80 as well, uh, but mostly we'll just be in the 70s, so staying average as we head towards uh, uh, Thursday of this week. So, like I said, uh, if you wanted to, want to do something outside for a while, uh, while we under while we're under a stay-at-home order for Orange and Osceola counties, or pretty much almost the entire state, well, not really almost, but for parts, uh, should be a good day to do that. So, I think you'll enjoy the cooler and spring-like temperatures than what we than what we saw pretty much, pretty much this month, and like we're going to see t- again tomorrow. All right, taking you to uh, Friday, <clears throat> which is uh, April 3rd. Yet again, the weather stays dry. The elevated fire danger continues. And with temperatures uh, down below for highs, we'll start to warm things up just a little bit, but still looking average with highs only in the mid to upper 70s, but some could hit low 80s as we head towards uh, that day. So, so still another good days ahead as we head towards uh, the end of the work week. And again, that's Friday I'm talking about.
taking you to uh, the weekend, the first weekend of April, as a matter of fact. Uh, and as you can see here, still for Central Florida, looking dry as usual, as the elevated fire danger continues, with also with more uh, sunshine. So I mean, it could be a good start to the weekend, but notice here, far, farther back over towards the west there, there's a, there could be an approaching storm system that will develop across parts of the Mississippi Valley region, give another chance for showers and thunderstorms. So, um, but here... Not looking at any, not, not looking at any, uh, not a whole lot of rain here for the Sunshine State, except for the Panhandle where they can see a little bit of rain, uh, that day, but not here around where we live. So that's, uh, the 4th of April. So that's coming up this Saturday. And here are the high temperatures down below, and we'll still be, again, just a little bitty warm, but again, mostly staying average with highs only in the 70s to about 80 degrees. Could see a high around 81 too, maybe, maybe for the high on Saturday for Kissimmee as well. So, so it looks like uh, Wednesday through at least the second half of the week and maybe maybe into the upcoming weekend looks to be nice. So we don't have to do so we don't have to deal with any more uh, summer hot temperatures uh, for at least for a while. All right, uh, taking you to uh, Sunday, <clears throat> which is uh, April fifth. It looks like there could be maybe a few isolated showers, but it's not going to rain all day, and it's not going to be much like we're going to see tomorrow night. So just keep that in mind. But as you can see here, over towards the I-95 corridor, that's where, the, that's where you folks can see maybe just a 20% chance for, of a brief shower as we head towards uh, that day. But otherwise, looking mostly sunny. And, there's a, and there could be a good shot of rain farther back over towards the west of our state. So basically, from the Gulf of Mexico region, that's where they're expecting some showers and maybe a few thunderstorms. But again, if any rain does develop on Sunday, it will just not be a whole lot. So just uh, keep that in mind. And uh, high temperatures down below. <clears throat> still looking average and cooler with highs only in the low to mid 70s. So it'll be another good day to be uh, outdoors, just not near, uh, just not near the crowds uh, is, what, is what I'm talking about. So just keep that in mind. So again, there you, there you go. I think we're ready for cooler temperatures, uh, aren't you guys? Because we need, we need, really need a break from the, we need a, we really needed a break from the heat. That we'll be dealing with here throughout March. All right, taking you to uh, a week from today here. This is uh, next Monday, April 6th. It looks like we'll see, again, the same thing like we may see on Sunday. Just a few isolated uh, brief showers over towards the I-95 corridor, but otherwise looking mostly sunny. Any high rain chances, any high rain chances that will happen next Monday will stay farther up north into the Mississippi Valley region. And there could be some thunderstorms too, but again... The rain chances that we may see on again on Monday will not be widespread. It's not going to be raining that much, so just keep that in mind as the dry conditions continue for most of us for the next several days, including next Monday. And uh, the high temperatures will be looking a little bit warmer, so it looks like we'll see um, 80s instead of 70s as we head towards uh, uh, next Monday. But still not looking as extremely hot, which is still a good thing, but you'll still feel maybe a little bit of, of the humid air as it returns uh, that day, so just keep that in mind. All right, taking you to a week from tomorrow. Uh, next Tuesday, the 7th of April, it looks like we'll be at least pretty much all of us staying dry, but notice what's coming here farther up north into uh, the viewing area, basically from the Florida Panhandle into the Mississippi Valley region. They're, they're expecting a very good shot of some showers and storms ahead of another front as we, that we may be watching carefully as we head towards uh, uh, that day, so so you may never know that could change. So just keep on checking back. Uh, once we get closer, like this week here on Facebook Live, because again there could be some changes to uh, the GFS once we hit towards uh, next week as another system approaches. But again, for now here in, in Central Florida, we'll be looking dry, but the rain, the good chance will stay farther up north. And here's a look at the high temperatures, and it looks like it's going to feel a little bit more like summer again. Uh, unfortunately, as we head towards uh, Tuesday, so, so I think you may want to may want to enjoy these cooler temperatures if you can as we head towards the second half of the week into this weekend and perhaps next Monday. Because again, right now the GFS shows summer like weather returning for next Tuesday on the April seventh. Highs getting back into the upper eighties, and some could potentially get back into the, into the lower nineties. So that is something we may have to watch. So just keep that in mind. And uh, once the uh, 
Once the uh, second strong storm system gets closer on Wednesday of next week, this is the 8th, by the way, it does show that there could be a little bit of rain here around parts of central Florida, basically just uh, 20%, basically from I-95 into uh, Marion counties, but otherwise we'll be looking dry as the uh, the below normal rainfall continues. But still, the high chances of rain are, are still going to stay farther up north into, uh, we'll say, from northern Florida, including Jacksonville, into the Mississippi Valley region. But if any rain does develop again on Wednesday of next week, it's not going to be it's not going to be raining a whole lot, but it could bring just a brief shower. So that's something we'll watch too. And then, and then here's a look at the high temperatures uh, down below. And yep, the summer heat does crank back up uh, even more as we head towards the as we head towards the middle of the of next week. But the highest again, not just seeing upper 80s, but maybe some lower 90s too. So, yep. And uh, the isolated rain chances could continue for some spots as we head towards uh, next Thursday as well, which is April 9th. So there could be about a 20% chance of a slight uh, brief shower from I-95, including up, we'll say, from Melbourne all the way up towards Palm Coast. But any, like I said before, guys, any good chances of rain that will happen uh, next week, still at least for next Thursday, as a matter of fact, will stay farther up north into the uh, western Florida panhandle, including Pensacola and parts of southern Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi. So something to watch, but that could change. And, whoa, look at this here, guys. This is the high temperatures for next Thursday, is what it shows on the GFS. It does show temperatures not just low, but perhaps getting back into the mid-90s. So, that's why I said before, the summer heat may come back as we head towards the middle or towards the second half of next week. So, be ready for that to have a summer heat return after we deal with after we deal with seven days of cooler temperatures by late week into the weekend. So, just saying. But if the model's correct, if, the, if this model's correct here, as we as we head into the re, the real pure land of Voodoo Country, this is for uh, Friday, uh, April tenth. By the way, that's Good Friday, which will be the start of the Easter holiday weekend. Uh, if, if this model if this model is correct, there, as you can see, uh, right now, I think there could be a good shot of some rain that may try to push through, uh, push into Central Florida rather. So we need the rain. So bad here in Central here in the Central Florida viewing area, but it shows on the GFS we could see that next Friday. On Good Friday, the start to the Easter holiday weekend, but we're in the land of Voodoo Country now because it's too early to tell. So that's why it could still bring changes once we get closer. So just keep on checking back this week on Facebook Live for more updates and also for changes. But we're hoping we'll see some rain, maybe at least a good shot, maybe next Friday. So we'll see. But if it does, we'll see about a 40% coverage. But I don't expect any severe weather or any thunderstorms with that system, which could be some good news. But... Again, you may never know it could change. <clears throat> but unfortunately, though, temperature is going to still stay warm and humid with highs only in the 80s to around 90 across central Florida. So the summer heat is going to continue on Good Friday. So that's the bad news for those of you that are not really a big fan of heat. Uh, but again, some, at least when the rain does develop next Friday, if that's correct, at least a good shot, we could see temperatures cool off just a little bit, but not that much. Since there's, since there's not, not going to be a cold front coming through for right for right at the moment, but we'll see. And I guess I was wrong about the uh, not, you know, saying no thunderstorms since temperatures will be warm enough uh, to see shower, not just showers, but we could see thunderstorms too. So that's what I meant to say. So again, I make mistakes sometimes, but just bear with me. So it's not just showers, but since temperatures could be warm enough, there could be just a few thunderstorms. But in terms of severe weather, though. According to the instability, according to the instability values, it does show that yeah, some storms could turn strong for Good Friday, but the severe threat looks to be marginal. So that's something we could watch. But again, we're in the land of Voodoo Country, so that could change as we get closer. But any, if, if if the good chance of rain happens on Good Friday, it's not going to rain all day. So we'll see. But heading into, uh, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, which is uh, April the 11th, start. this is still the part of the first half of the Easter holiday weekend. It looks like we'll see the rain chances uh, go down just a little bit, about 30%, so looking just a few uh, isolated hit or miss showers, but otherwise looking dry as we head towards that day. But notice there's another system that could develop here from the uh, north of our state that could bring a good chance of showers or storms across parts of the Mississippi and the Tennessee Valley region, so that's something we could watch too, but too early to tell, but we'll see. But here, again, the rain chances will be lowering, lowering about 20 to 30% as we head towards the uh, 11th. 
So just keep that in mind, as always, like I've been saying before. And the temperatures will continue to stay summer-like, with highs only in the upper 80s into the lower 90s. So the summer heat could continue as we head towards the uh, holiday weekend. But we'll see. All right, taking you to uh, Easter Sunday, which is April 12th. It looks like we'll be seeing uh, pretty much some drier conditions here in central Florida for now. Can help a lot, maybe a brief coastal shower there in Brevard County, but otherwise we'll be looking dry. And the good rain chances there will stay farther up north in Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. So we'll see. So we'll see what what happens once we get closer. But too early to tell if that'll happen. But at least here in Florida, we'll be looking at least the first half of the weekend. At least a good chance for about a few showers and storms. But then we'll be going down to a very low chance for the uh, Easter Sunday. So we'll see. As always, but it could change. And uh, take a look at the high temperatures, and we start to heat things back up here. So it looks like we're going to see highs in the mid-90s. So it's going to feel more like summer for Easter Sunday as we head towards uh, that day. So that is something we'll have to watch closely. But again, we're in the land of food country, so that could potentially change as we get closer. So again, just keep on checking back here on Facebook Live, and I'll keep you posted if there's any more changes to uh, that forecast, because that's something we'll be definitely watching. All right, then taking you to uh, two weeks from today, uh, the day after Easter, Monday, April 13th. It looks like we'll be drying out here in central Florida as the hot summer weather continues. But uh, yet again, it looks like a brand new system will, will develop it from the northwest to the southeast that could bring some rain across parts of Tennessee, Mississippi, and Alabama. So that's something we'll watch uh, closely, but too early to tell. And uh, high temperatures down below. Yet again, the hot weather continues with highs uh, staying in the mid-90s. But notice up here farther to the northwest, there may be another cold front that could try to uh, swing into the southeast that could bring temperatures with the showers, even a few thunderstorms down into the uh, 70s and 60s. So something, again, we'll have to watch, but too early to tell. But it could change. All right, uh, taking you to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, two weeks from tomorrow, Tuesday, April 14th, it looks like uh, the... Uh, System could bring maybe just a few isolated brief showers, but basically just in the north and west of Orlando. But it's not going to rain all day if that happens, but otherwise the rest of our viewing area looking dry. And still the higher coverage of rain will stay farther up north into Georgia and Alabama. So something to watch, but again, it could change. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, high temperatures down below, and it looks like uh, the uh, cold front we may see the following week here will be stronger because right behind it, that could bring temperatures much cooler in, down into the 50s and 60s across parts of the, the Mississippi and the Tennessee Valley regions. But ahead of that, we'll still see temperatures feeling more like summer uh, with highs only in the upper 80s into the low to mid 90s. So, again, we'll see if that happens, but you may never know. It could change because we're still two weeks off. That's what we call it, the land of voodoo. All right, as we end this uh, forecast tonight, we're going to end with uh, Wednesday, April 15th. It looks like once the uh, front gets closer, you can still see maybe a few leftover isolated showers around the viewing area, but otherwise looking mostly sunny. Again, we could use some rain. We're hoping maybe we could, maybe we could see a few shots of rain as we head towards the next uh, first couple of weeks of April. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And temperatures below. Once the uh, front does pass uh, through central Florida as it continues to push on south, We'll see temperatures cool down from 90s again into the uh, 70s. So, again, we'll see what will happen. All right, again, I'm going to start wrapping up this uh, Facebook Live feed on this uh, Monday night. So that's it for the uh, forecast video update. And I expect to have the next video posted here uh, tomorrow. Back here again live on Facebook for another update so the guys can join me then. And I'll continue, as always, but always but posting more notes or updates on my blog and uh, Facebook pages 24-7. But in the meantime, hope you enjoy the rest of your Monday evening. And uh, again, I'll see you tomorrow for another edition here on Facebook Live for the weather here in Central Florida. All right, you guys, uh, take care. Maybe to stay healthy. And uh, God bless.